story to tell. According to USNI News, the U.S. Navy has officially received the Sea Hunter unmanned vessel. The ship is said to be capable of handling Russian killer submarines. This procurement decision was made in response to the growing danger of Russian submarines across most waters. The decision to hand over the Sea Hunter to the U.S. Navy is made after the ship has completed on sea trials over the past four years with necessary modifications. Sea Hunter was previously scheduled to be operational in 2018 but has been delayed due to some incomplete features. In addition to sea reconnaissance capabilities, Sea Hunter is also equipped with a variety of lethal weapons to expand its mission list while maintaining the ship's design, said U.S. Navy leader Ray Mabus. Sea Hunter was launched in 2016 as part of the DARPA Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel Program built by Vigor Industrial. The cost for the original prototype was about $20 million, excluding the weapons. Her full load displacement is 145 tons with a length of 40 meters. The Sea Hunter is classified as an unmanned self-piloting craft with twin screws. She is equipped with two diesel engines, allowing her to reach a top speed of 27 knots, equivalent to 50 km per hour. Travel endurance is 70 days. Cruising range is transoceanic. 10,000 nautical miles at Trellnos. Sea Hunter is intended to be operational through Sea State 5. Waves up to 2 meters high and winds up to 21 knots and survivable through Sea State 7. The Chimeran Har provides increased stability without requiring a weighted cure, giving her a higher capacity for liner trajectories and better operations in shallow waters, though the greater width decreases maneuverability. Operationally, computers will drive and control the ship with a human always observing and taking jobs if necessary. It can control without human guidance, using optical guidance and radar to avoid hitting obstacles or other watercraft. The ship has a host of non-standard features because of her lack of crew, including an internal layout that offers enough room for maintenance to be performed, but not for any people to be permanently present. She is fitted with devices to protect the vessel from damage caused by rope or net caught by the propellers without affecting the vessel's performance. In terms of combat features, Sea Hunter 
can combine with anti-submarine and reconnaissance aircraft, such as the B-8 Poseidon or MQ-4C, to detect and attack enemy submarines. To hunt for targets, Sea Hunter is equipped with the Raytheon scalable MS-3 sonar module system. This system is designed to fight, detect, filter passive threats, locate and track targets without human control. The SM-3 system can also accurately classify various enemy submarines. The SM-3 allows for anti-submarine warfare and underwater combat in both active and passive modes, detecting torpedoes and providing warning and avoiding collisions with small objects. With the features of this submarine hunter, the United States believed that the most advanced enemy submarines will be exposed. Along with sonar equipment, Sea Hunter is appreciated for its very good stair ability, helping her to operate effectively in shallow seas, bays, or areas with a lot of coral reefs, which are ideal shelters for DHR electric submarines. The commissioning of the U.S. Sea Hunter is believed to be a move that demonstrates the country's military potential over rivals, especially Russia and China. My video about the U.S. Sea Hunter vessel answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.